Last week, we set up an experiment to test how good humans are at judging volume by eye. Today, we will see how our viewers performed. We did this because a collection of spectacular elongated skulls have been found in Peru. Scientists tell us they are normal humans with heads that were elongated through skull binding, a practice common in many ancient cultures. But Gaia.com tells us that this cannot be the case. They claim that the skulls are not only elongated, but are 25% larger than normal. Illustrations on their website suggest that these skulls belong to extraterrestrials. Is it possible that Gaia.com is simply scamming us? Exploiting humankind's poor ability at judging volume by eye? You are watching Episode 3 of Citizen Science vs. the Aliens of Peru. Hello, everyone back. I hope you are, because we're about to test which one has more of 40 milliliters and what one has 40 less milliliters. Exactly. Now, Jackson, you you did not see which one has more and which one has less. I want to get your guess before yes, we do. Yes, I was watching Mario Maker. Yeah, Jackson was watching Mario Maker while I set this all up. So he doesn't know which one has less and which one has more. So what's your guess? Which one, which one has the least mm. amount of water in it? Actually. Colored water. You think the green one has less? All right. Which one has 40 milliliters extra? No, this one has extra, this one has less. This one has less, this one has extra? Yep. Let's test and find out. We've got our trusty beaker right here. Yep. Um, set that aside so we don't spill it. Number one. Bye bye. It's gonna turn into a black. Black now, if it's normal, it should just read 400. What does that read? That reads 400, pretty much. Number one was just regular. If you guessed that, sorry, you're wrong. Okay. Number two. Let's go. What do you think it's going to be? Number two was less. Number two was 40 milliliters less. 40 milliliters short of 400. Look at that. So if you guessed that number two was less full, you were correct. At least partially correct. You still have to get the other one as well. Ooh, look at this. It's nice, beautiful green. Ooh. We're learning about colors too. Can we put that one in next? No, no, we're gonna do number three. Oh number gosh, three. The entire color. Number three. It's a purple one. Purple. What do we got? Uh, 240. Dude, you made 400. Oh, wait, 400. <laughs> 400 milliliters, it's just regular, normal. Number three was normal. So number two had less, number three was normal. Number one was normal. Ugh. Look at that, looks like toxic sludge. Yeah, it's fine. That's just toxic sludge even worse. What do you think? Mm, 400. 400. Again. Number four, that was number four, right? Yeah, number four is normal. I got none of them right. All right, now we got number five. What do you think? Probably not. Number five. Jackson, I happen to know. Dun, dun, dun. There's something special about this one. <laughs> it is above. 440 milliliters. Jeez. Number five was the full one. If you guessed number two and four, for uh, number two for less and number four for more. Five for more. Five for more. You won! You got it right, congratulations. So the rest of them, this one looks like it's really full, but let's let's just go ahead and measure the rest too, right? Well, I might, might as well. Just so we can prove to the people. Some might be suspicious, thinking I'm playing games with them. <coughs> what do we got? 400. Yeah. That's pretty, now, I like that. Yeah. Looks exactly like that. 
Just a little food coloring and some water. I bet I could drink it afterwards if I die. Probably could. Yeah. It's food grade. Oh. Okay, you gotta be careful not to spill this one. This is tricky. Yikes. It's so close. When you go to a fancy restaurant, and they give you these weird shaped cups. And so they can trick you. <coughs> Just 400. Regular 400. What? 400 milliliters. No way. That was full. Yeah. It's just a trick. Four hundred. See, the color coordination doesn't help. Yeah. So he wasn't lying. And last but not least. Four hundred. Wow. It's a fun experiment. It's actually extremely, extremely difficult to get these right. I am currently recording this voiceover Thursday night at 9 p.m. Viewers have had a week to turn in their answers, and before I can tell you if they played well or not, I need to calculate the odds of getting this problem right by chance. If you, dear audience, happen to be a bunch of monkeys choosing glasses at random, what would your odds be? Well, there are nine cups, so getting the first one right is a chance of one out of nine. And then because one of those has already been chosen, the odds of getting the second one right, assuming you got the first one right, are one in eight. So to find the chance of getting both correct in a row, we need to multiply the fractions. That's one ninth times one eighth is one in 72. It would take on average 72 monkeys to play this game in order for one of them to be statistically likely to get it right to win. Well, did my human viewers do better than my hypothetical monkeys? Nope, <laughs> not even close. 89 people played and every single one of them got it wrong. In fact, one person, Miss Roshen, somehow managed to get it perfectly wrong. Now, don't worry, <laughs> this is actually really hard to do. I could really make a killing with this if I turned it into a carnival game. Maybe I should do that. But I guess that technically there was one guy that you could say got it right. YouTube user Tleilaxu Face Dancer. He said, I don't know. <laughs> that was his answer. And that, you know, that, that, that was technically correct. So congratulations to you, sir. Now, one of the things I, I, I want to point out too, is that it's, it's hard to do this when you're here, when you're in person. It's even harder to do it on the internet, looking through the TV or through your monitor or through your phone at a video. And that is one of the reasons that these alien conspiracy theory people have so much success. It's because people can't actually see these with their eyes in real life. There's all sorts of perspective games. It's really hard to tell how big something is when you're looking at it on TV. So, but even, even in real life, uh, we have that problem as well. So that's it for this episode. And next week's episode, Jackson and I are going to talk about sagittal sutures. And we're going to talk about the little holes in the back of the alien head. And we're going to try and figure out whether or not those things are really that unusual for humans. Because those were two of the things that uh, Brian Forrester says are special about the elongated skull. Special. And then after that, we are going to do the ultimate experiment. We are going to measure the skulls and see which one is bigger than the other. And so, or if they're the same size. Or if they're really close to the same size. That's what we're going to see. Because the claim is that this one is 25% larger than this one. And I suspect that that might not be the case. My suspicion. So, so long for now. Stay curious. All right. Here, high five. Mm -hmm.